to the question, can we take them all, which is a question that all of us are being asked, uh, there are three answers. One is, it's not a choice, it's an obligation. So there's a humanitarian obligation to welcome people who are fleeing conflicts, in which oftentimes Western governments have been a part of. So this is over, over decades. And the second answer to the question is that Europe can take them all if there's the political will for it. So let's start with a common asylum policy in the European Union. And that would be already a great step forward. And the third response is not only we have to, not only we can, uh, but we should because Europe should be thrilled to have uh, refugees and migrants coming uh, just from an economic standpoint. And here I think we can take example from the business sector. And if you listen to, for example, the head of Daimler, the makers of Mercedes-Benz, uh, who said basically that we should look at this migration as Europe's next economic miracle. And again, there's some truth to it because of research that's been done in the UK. A study shows that immigration and migration basically boosts the economy, boosting tax revenues and even raising wages for native workers. Uh, so that's how we should look at the issue and that's how we should respond to that question. <laughs>